Hey besties, and thank you so much for joining me in today's video, and welcome if you're new. My name is Lindsay, and over here on this channel we cover all things beauty, and in today's video we are talking about the new Juliet Has a Gun Oh, to dullness perfume now I know a lot of people don't absolutely love the name on this in my humble opinion I think they could have went for maybe opted for like oh to comfort because it's a very cozy warm like the type of fragrance you'd want to bundle up and watch like your favorite fall movie or show. Like for me, I would bundle up in the covers and watch Gilmore Girls drinking a hot cocoa. My nose is all cold. Like that is the vibe I get when I smell this. So like I guess I get where they were going with it. But I just feel like when I smell the fragrance, I'm not thinking Ode to Dullness. I'm thinking Ode to Comfort. Oh, to coziness. I'm honestly thinking like sweater weather because when you smell it, there's something soft, cozy, kind of like fuzzy and tender about the fragrance. It's almost like when you wear it all over your body, you feel like you're enveloped in a sweater or enveloped in like a very, very fluffy blanket. It's definitely that type of vibe. I think this is the perfect combination of skin musk, and cashmere wood. I feel like this is just a beautiful, beautiful like comfort scent. So it opens up with notes of, or what I get from the fragrance, it's warm, spicy, woody, musky, and a little bit powdery. So as it dries down, I get more of that powdery feel. This is so beautiful. And the notes are sandalwood, cashmere wood, star anise, and tonka bean. Now, I really wasn't familiar with star anise, I'm not gonna lie, so thank gosh Fragrantica breaks it down. It is a soft, powdery, floral, spicy fragrance with nuances of licorice, so thankfully for me, this doesn't really smell like licorice at all. Yeah, at all. More so, I'm getting that powderiness, I'm getting the spice, yeah, it's not super floral to my nose either, unless it's just not very like present in the fragrance. But overall, I think it's very beautiful. And when you do smell it, it smells like a clean scent, or sorry, like a comforting like skin scent. But like with something more, which is what I love and like I'm kind of addicted to in the fragrance. I feel like I haven't had it for too long and I have gave it a good dent. Now, this was kindly sent to me over from the brand, so I do appreciate that. But typically, I get the big bottles, okay? So I feel like I'm going to put this on my tray or something so it doesn't throw off my collection. Um... But this was sent to me from the brand. I just want you guys to know. But I do like genuinely really love it. I've been using it a lot. They sent this to me. And also the um, advent calendar. The not an advent calendar. Which has everything from Juliet Has a Gun's Not a Perfume line. Which things I didn't even know they have. A hair mist. They had a soap I think. They had a candle. I went a little crazy when I saw the candle because that was just super exciting. Anyways, I'm getting off of topic. This is the perfect fragrance for when you want to bundle up, when you want to feel like kind of secured and just like in for the night and you just don't want to have any worries. This is beautiful. You could also layer it with like other fragrances in your collection. I think that would do great. Like something like maybe Commodity Milk would do good. This is just very, very cozy and I love that it's not trying too hard. It's not the strongest fragrance, although I do feel like I get pretty nice longevity, which is great because, I don't know, I feel like fragrances that smell like this, like skin scents, typically wouldn't be. But I do just think it's the perfect mixture of like the wood and also like the musk. It's beautiful. And I do also feel a bit of the tonka bean in there. Now, is this fragrance a love? No, it's a like. It's a very heavy like. I feel like for it to be a love, that subtle sweetness I get within the fragrance would need to be a little bit pronounced. Like, I feel like if it was emphasized just a little bit, maybe with some like praline, it would be perfect for what I like in fragrance. For me, this is really great for when I want to be a little bit more low-key. If I'm working, like if you have a work setting where you don't necessarily want to, you know, choke everyone out, you want something that's a little bit more reserved, this is perfect. 
but you still want to feel cozy at the office you know if you want to have it for in the house days when you're just like I think this would be perfect on Sundays where you're not going anywhere but you want to feel cozy and secure and just you know like you know you want to have that like fuzzy feeling this is perfect maybe even if you were running errands outside you know going to the store groceries whatever the case may be this could be stunning as well but for me to actually like want to wear this on a day-to-day -day basis every single day like going out with friends all that I think I think I'd more so want to mix this with other fragrances the first one that comes to mind is Zara's Fields at Nightfall because it does have that beautiful creamy sandalwood alongside that yummy praline and I think that mixed with this let's actually see how it would be this is Zara's Fields at Nightfall. I already have the Juliet Has a Gun like all over. This is ridiculously beautiful. Wow. This is like a little more Juliet Has a Gun. Yeah, I would 100% recommend if you do have Ode to Greatness or what the heck, Ode to Dullness. See how bad I don't want to say that? Um, if you do have it, mix it with Zara Feels at Nightfall. This is $15 and it's worth every freaking penny. It is so beautiful. There's also something mysterious about it. And combined, this is just a dream. So this smells good. Let's also try Vanilla Skin from Fleur. This is the new one. I've been loving this a lot. They both have the cashmere wood and also the sandalwood. So it just made sense to me. I love this fragrance so much. And then you smell this combination over here. And it's a little bit more like musky and more, it's just more of like a skin type of scent, you know? I do like it. You do get the subtle hints of the praline coming through, adding a little bit of sweetness. This is just more intimate and on my personal preference alone, I do prefer this mixture. But in general, I mean, this is a beautiful product. If you haven't already got Vanilla Skin, I will link it down below. Seriously, it is incredible. You will not be disappointed. And yeah, those are my thoughts on the new Juliet Has a Gun Ode to Dullness. I'm not sure how new this is now, but I do know it's their newest out. And they did send it to me and I was super excited to put out my thoughts and opinions because I have been testing it for about a week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A big shout out to Juliet Has a Gun for even sending this over. And a bigger thank you to y'all for watching the content, engaging, and just enjoying what I put out. I love you guys so much. We just hit 9k and that is so exciting. Now we're at like 92 50 or something like that. So it's just all thanks to you guys, honestly, that I'm even able to get fragrances sent to me and try all new things. I love you guys so, so much. And I hope you guys feel that. Don't want to get emotional, but I love y'all and I will see you in the next one. Bye besties.